So this was also this was this song. Sorry, I don't know what the fuck. Run away. Uh, what the fuck? I'm dead. Uh, run away was part of the list that someone gave me down in the comment section below to my first TXT reaction. Um, so I'm going through their list. And then, if y'all have another list of TXT songs that you guys want me to listen to, or other um, artists, K-pop group, whatever, let me know down in this comment section below, and I'll get to it. I promise. It won't get to it right away, because I have, you know, it's out of sight, out of mind kind of thing for me. But yeah, uh, let's get right into it. I'm excited, because I have just finished hearing, what is it called? Back for More or something? With Anita, that song is gas. Like, yo, when I tell y'all, if y'all haven't, that reaction is gonna come out before this one. Go listen, go stop this video, go watch that reaction because that song is so, it's a masterpiece. So I'm excited. I'm definitely excited because they, that they're two for two for me for how, no, three for three because Chasing the Feeling was also a masterpiece. So I have a high hopes for them. So let's see how this one goes. Oh my god, that sounds like Funimation. The old Funimation, you guys watch anime? The old Funimation thing when they when they do that and they be like, You should be watching. Sorry. I didn't like that. So. Okay, focus. Well, that line's gonna come out crooked. You know what's crazy? Off the rip, let me tell you guys something. First, let me make myself comfortable. Uh, like, off rip, this song sounds very, like, upbeat. I'm reading the lyrics, this shit is sad as fuck. The way to be deceiving? Holy shit. Because he said, he said what? Not a big star. Feels like everybody's happy but me. It hurts more when I smile than when I cry. And then the beat is beating like... I'm confused on what I should be feeling. Hold on. Did I just rap? Potter uh uh reference that's so cute I love Harry Potter that little arm shit he did he hit that shit What is with 
with them in the upside down cities. But I guess someone said that their story is like uh Peter Pan Harry Potter mix, right? So I guess it makes sense. But um this is a very interesting song. I never expected a K pop group to kinda of touch on something like this. Because this is like them saying they're sad and they just wanna like go away. Not in the, you know, kind of self, but like they wanna run away. Right, obviously because the song's called Run Away. Yo, yeah, I remember that song Runaway Love by Mary J. Blige and uh Ludacris. Runaway Love Runaway Love Sorry goes. Yeah, I get it. If yeah, if y'all yeah, heard it or not, it's a sad ass fucking song. Don't watch don't don't go listen to it because you'll get sad as fuck. What the fuck to say? Yeah. Um, I wonder if there's gonna be a happy ending at the end of this song because if not then that's it's that stuff. I ain't gonna lie. I like that. I like that. I like that. Is that the saxophone thingy? Saxophone? Is that the little keyboard looking thing with the different colors? <laughs> The thing I love about TXT so far from what I've seen is that their beats are very particular right because of how just from chasing the music no sorry chasing the feeling the 70s kind of feel and then the back for more i think that's what that song is called but y'all know what i'm saying that beat uh this one with that instrument i'm pretty sure it is the saxophone it's the one with the you have like a little a hammer thing hitting it and it's like a high pitched sound. I think that's what that is. A saxophone? Let me look up that shit because I don't know. What does a saxophone look like? Here's some information. That's not, that's not what I mean. Not a saxophone. That's going to bother me. Not a saxophone. Different kind of keyboards for music. Here's what I found. No, no, no. Xenophone? What does an Xenophone look like? Here's what I found. Not eczema, stupid. <laughs> Siri, yo. Siri, stay playing with me, bro. Y'all know what instrument I'm talking about. Please write it down in the comment section below because that is going to bother me so far. So I guess this is the Peter Pan influence. Come, 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 come
Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So you know what's also interesting about this song? It's the way that they highlighted the moments of the instruments, right? So that that instrument that's doing a little high, like you're running away in like in a cartoonish way, that beat, you hear it throughout the entire song if you're really focusing. But then you, they, like they, they blast the sound of that, uh, in the moments that it needs to, and then they, 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 they knew the name of the instrument. I would just say it, cause I like it. I like how they incorporated it into their song, cause I typically don't hear that instrument in music to where I can catch it, right? But the way they played around with that instrument in this song was very, it was well put together because it's not like odd. It's not like a, oh, it's kind of like a, ooh, that was nice. This song was great too. If I had to rank the song so far from what I've heard, um, Deja Vu be number one because it was the first song that I ever got put on to. So that won't get replaced unless it does. Two would have to be Back for More. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember. Back for More with Anita. Three Chasing the Feeling. And then this one's fourth. Um, I'm very curious on what that ending was about. Why was he the only one that didn't get up and go? Why didn't the other members realize that he didn't get up with them? Was that bear, that toy beat up bear, was it considering like... Are the other members more okay with growing up and becoming adults? because they were in school then the one that didn't get up is that one still harboring like a uh, sadness for damn like i gotta grow up now or something but y'all yeah, will fill me in on that lore down in the comment section below so let me know your guys' thoughts on this video this was a great song i will be adding it to my playlist as well because i'm kind of curious to hear the full thing like music wise because you know there was a pause so i'm, I'm kind of curious how they fill that part in but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts down in the conversation below but yeah see you guys